I will say let us raise your friends. Come weep with me. Come and console your friends, my dear Polanyak. The judgment against me is a shameful insult. I am bathed in tears of despair. Pity me, my good sister. I did not merit this injury. I who have endeavoured to do good to all those around me, make me your complaints of condolence. The intriguer who wished to ruin me or to obtain money by abusing my name and forging my signature has been acquitted. It seems there could be no end to the conspiracy. The rumours continue. The starving French felt mocked. I recommended Ferzin the brioche. Not it was less expensive than their beloved cake. And then came the image war. Illustrations from outside of France began to circulate. Lewd pennings of my image that portrayed me as treasonous, adulterous, and wanton. The rumors became increasingly bizarre. I was even accused of hiding grain to intentionally starve some. Get me the dark grain! My husband tried to protect me. He understood the damage that the accusations could have upon the image. If the ruling power does not have authority, it cannot govern. If only I had heeded the warnings of my sister, Mary Christine. In answer to her desperate letter, I wrote, I think you really far too much about me recently as it concerns France. It is far from having the importance that it may have in other places in Europe, because everyone belongs to it. One hints knows everything which happens. Where then is the danger? One might have reason to be now if it were a secret political society, which makes the king say that people who eat and drink and sing do not conspire. I am told they speak of God and do many charities. They educate the children of the poor and deceased members and they get their daughters married. There is no harm in all of that. In truth, the Illuminati had infiltrated France by 1787 through French orator and revolutionary leader Count Victor Recriti Mirabeau. Though the church and the monarchy were closely connected. The French throne had negotiated and retained many religious freedoms. Is it an act of God? A career sent by Adam Whitehouse to Maximilien Robespierre is struck by lightning and killed while traveling horseback from Germany to France in 1785. Bavarian officials find in his saddle bag plans detailing the French Revolution and proof of the existence of the Illuminati. The Bavarian government attempts to contact the French government, but the French government failed to heed this warning. In 1786, the Bavarian government publishes the details of the conspiracy. Its name in English, the original writings of the order and sect of the Illuminati. I received this diamond encrusted fan on the day of my wedding from my husband, who would become King Louis XVI. Maybe he knew it would depart from me into Paris. He did. Conceptualized by Louis XIV, the Palace of Versailles was built in homage to the sun god of Paris. Louis himself was known as the sun king. At one time, all of Versailles had revolved around him, including over 10,000 servants. He was actually raised to think of himself as a type of God. Once quoted as saying, The state, I am the state. He had ruled that the solar season was the only form of Christianity to be practiced in France. And so it was. My mother always said that it was God's intent that a nation should be governed from heaven and to be an expression of heaven on earth and that a Davidic monarchy was bestowed by God. But hadn't anyone informed the church? The Enlightenment had birthed deism and Islam, and Voltaire had announced that Christianity was the most absurd, vulgar, and bloody religion to have ever infected the earth. And he further asserted 
it took 12 ignorant fishermen to establish Christianity. I will show the world how one Frenchman can tear it down.